currently we have the Pixhawk connected directly from uh, over USB into uh, the laptop so that we can run Mission Planner. What we're going to do here is just uh, switch that out so that we have the um, uh, Pixhawk instead of connecting to the laptop directly. We're going to plug the Pixhawk into this uh, Raspberry Pi. All right, now we have the Pixhawk connected into a uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, Raspberry Pi is this bit here. That bit on top there is a um, is an LTE hat, which we'll get to later on, but this is uh, the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is connected over a LAN wireless network uh, to, to the same wireless network that the laptop is connected to. So let's have a look at how we set up that same communication between the Pixhawk and the laptop now that it's connected instead of the laptop uh, to this Raspberry Pi. So here we are on the Raspberry Pi. We're going to come in here and start up the Mav Proxy, which is going to take the Mavlink information coming out of the USB cable from the Pixhawk into the Raspberry Pi, and it's going to forward it to a uh, over UDP on a local LAN to a machine at some IP address and some port number. The port number there is important. It's 14550. You can set that to be whatever you like it to be, but it has to be consistent between what you type here on the command line and what you listen for uh, on the Windows machine. So I've set it to be the default, which is 14550. So now that the proxy has started, it's sending that information to that port but as you can see, uh, it's not connected in the background there on the mission planner because that uh, mission planner isn't listening on that port yet. So sometimes it will automatically detect it and connect straight through. I'm not exactly sure what determines when that happens and when you have to set it manually, but um, it hasn't started automatically this time. So we're going to go up here and we're going to select instead of auto, we're going to select UDP and then we're going to click on uh, connect and it'll give us a chance to put in the port number that we want to listen on and you'll see the same port number there 14550 and straight away it's going to pick it up and connect so now it's receiving that information the same Mavlink information it was getting over the USB directly now it's getting it indirectly via the Mav proxy running on the uh, Raspberry Pi so uh, we can now go ahead and do all of the same configuration steps and we can monitor its status and whatnot uh, in Mission Planner just as if it was connected directly to the laptop even though now it's coming in indirectly through the MAV proxy on the Raspberry Pi. One thing you will want to make sure you've done is in your Windows security settings allow the, this uh, Mission Planner application to have access to your local um, your local network so that it can receive that information across the network uh, otherwise it wouldn't uh, the Windows firewall would block this connection from happening so as you can see now we are seeing that it's armed or disarmed and we can tell that we are properly connected into that uh, Pixhawk 4 indirectly through the Raspberry Pi